مرحبا واهلا وسهلا فيكم ويلكم تو ذس نيو توتوريال اوف ديلي ليفنتان عربيك كونفرسيشنال براكتس ان ذس توتوريال بي توكينغ اباوت تيكين ذا تاكسي اند واندرينغ اراوند ذا تاون كايندلي نو ذات ذس كورس مايت نوت بي سوتبل فور ابسولوت بيجينرز هاويفر ات ويل بي ابسولوت فانتاستيك فور ذا ريست اوف يو هو لايك تو ريفايز فوكابولري ستراكشرز اند فريزز ليتس دايف ان فيرست ايل جيف ا كويك ريد ذن افتروز ايل هاف ا لوك ات ان ا جريتر ديتيل صباح الخير يا معلم صباح الخير يا معلم صباحو لوين رايحة؟ أنا رايحة صحة الشهداء على عيني تفضلي بدفع لك بدفع إلك خمستاشر ألف ليرة بيمشي الحال؟ ماشي مدام ما بنختلف انتي أول زبونة كلك زو تفضلي مدام هاي وصلنا شكرا كتير ناو لس هابلوك اتنا جريتا ديتيل صباح الخير Good morning يا yeah, معلم معلم first of all means teacher but here in Dalek we always use it to refer to someone's uh, profession so you mean that you're the master of this profession and uh, this is what you do so معلم doesn't necessarily mean a teacher but it refers to the profession so صباح الخير يا معلم Good morning صباحو صباحو most of the time people tend to shorten because students always would ask you know Can I shorten Sabah al Khair? Because not everybody finds the letter Kha a little bit easy unless you're German or Scandinavian because that is full in German as the sound is used a lot in German or Scottish. So again, you could shorten Sabah al Khair to Sabahu. Then he says, Lawen Raiha, where are you going to? Lawen Raiha, Lawen Raiha. So here we've used the active participle. You could use the active participle or the present tense, and here I've chose the active participle as we would tend to do. She says, "Ana raiha sahat al-shuhada." I'm going to this square. I'm going to this square. Shuhada square. So saha means square. Ala aini tfadli. Ala aini literally means on my eyes. Tfadli coming in. So ala aini is one of these untranslatable phrases. Ala aini, which means on my eyes, but the literal tra- that's the literal translation for it. But the overall meaning means you're welcome coming in. She says, بدفع لك خمستاشر ألف ليرة. بيمشي الحال. First of all, بدفع uh, is made of بدفع إلك. And in Dalek, we tend to shorten this so people would say بدفع لك. And they jump over the ألف, which is an airy letter. Uh, and this is something very common in Dalek, where people would tend to jump over the airy letter, such as ألف here. So she says, بدفع لك. I'll pay you خمستاشر ألف ليرة. Fifteen grand. بيمشي الحال is that right? This is one of the things in the Middle East because lots of taxi drivers they operate by themselves. They do not work with other companies like Uber and other local companies. So people would you would go and say like I'll pay you this amount of money, and some of them would say yes, and some would say no, depending on their mood. He replies, "Mashi madam," looks like he's happy with it. "Mashi madam," which means yes, madam. "Mab nixtilaf," we will not differ. On this matter, we will not differ on the amount you're offering me. Ma b'nakhtilif, we won't have a disagreement. So yeah, I'm happy with the 15 grand. Inti awal zbuna, you're my first client. You're my first client or rider. Killak zo, again, we looked at the last time, which means that's very kind of you. So it's a really nice phrase to use, guys. And he says, Tfadali madam, hayu salna. Okay, madam, here you are. We have arrived. Hayu salna, hayu salna, we've arrived. She thanks him. Thank you very much. Shukran ktir. Shukran ktir. Thank you very much. This is our second uh, dialogue. I'll give it a quick read, then I'll discuss it in a greater detail as usual. Ya ma'allam, adib ta khod iza bidna nruha al-hamra. Al-tas'ira hiya zata madam, min al-sharika, mish min andi. Tab ma'ashi, adirah ta khod. طيب مدام رح أخذ خمسين ألف ليرة ماشي عظيم هاي وصلنا بتحبي هون ولا لقدام كلك زو لقدام كمان شوي الله يخليك تكرم عيونك تفضلي now let's have a look at any greater detail يا معلم we've established that it's a title it's a title of addressing the guy so it doesn't mean teacher just a word uh, of appreciation so hey sir يا معلم or mister 
يا معلم قد بتاخد ها ماتش وود يو تيك قد بتاخد اذا بدنا نروح على الحمراء if we want to go to hamra قد بتاخد اذا بدنا نروح if we want to go اذا بدنا نروح if we want to go على الحمراء ع which means to الحمراء is the area he replies التسعيرة the tariff التسعيرة هي ذات مدام التسعيرة هي ذات which means it's the same tariff التسعيرة هي ذات is the same tariff مدام is madam من الشركة from the company مش من عندي it's not from me meaning I don't set the tariff she says طيب ماشي okay fine قد رح تاخد how much will you take قد رح تاخد قد رح تاخد how much will you take طيب مدام رح اخد خمسين الف ليرة I will take 50 grand or 50,000 lira. Mashia Azim, okay, great. Mashia Azim, okay, great. Hey, Usalna, here we are, we've arrived. But Habbi Horn, would you like to stop here? Walla, or, walla, or, la adam, a bit further to the front. She says, Kilakzo, that's very kind of you. La adam, kaman shway, Allah yikhalik. لا قدام which means a bit further just a bit further ahead كمان شوي little bit more الله يخليك may God bless you so الله يخليك may God bless you this is one of the cultural phrases we tend to use at the end of any service somebody would do that for you so it's الله يخليك الله يخليك if you're talking to me and if you're talking to Sarah you'd say الله يخليكي so it doesn't depend on the talking person it depends on the person that you're talking to he says, تكرم عيونك. تكرم عيونك. تفضلي. تكرم عيونك is as well one of these one of these courtesy phrases as a response to the first one. So تكرم عيونك, which means I'll honor your eyes. But obviously, it means you're very welcome. That's a literal translation, which doesn't make much sense to you guys. But the overall translation means you're very welcome. Here you are. تفضلي. تفضلي, meaning assisting her to get out of the taxi or to leave. Our third one, Fadi, خدنا على السوق أعمال معروف. تفضلوا. نزلني هون حد البنك لو سمحت. دقيقة ما بقدر هون. تفضل هاي ستين ألف وخلي الباقي لألك. شكرا مدام الله يوفقك. هاي ستين ألف هاي ستين ألف وخلي الباقي لألك. شكرا مدام الله يوفقك. Shukran madam, Allah yuwaf ek. Now let's have a look at in a greater detail. So, Fadi, lots of you can start by going or heading to a taxi by saying, Fadi, are you free? Fadi, Fadi, khidna asu, take us to the market. Amal ma'roof, please. Amal ma'roof, do us a favor. Amal ma'roof, amal ma'roof, do us a favor. Or oh, meaning, please, can you take us? Tfaddalu, tfaddalu, him replying to a group of people trying to get into the taxi. She says, Nazilni hon, can I go off here? Nazilni hon, had the bank. Nazilni hon, had the bank, can I get off here next to the bank? Lo samahat, please. He says, Da ea, one minute, one moment. Da ea, da ea, mabadir hon, I cannot hear, I can't hear. تفضل هاي ستين ألف وخلي الباقي لألك تفضل هاي ستين ألف تفضل هي يو آه هاي this is ستين ألف sixty thousand ليرة وخلي and leave الباقي the rest the change لألك for you so خلي الباقي لألك keep the change وخلي الباقي لألك شكرا مدام الله يوفقك Shukran madam, thanks madam, Allah yuwafak, may God keep you safe. So Allah yuwafak, Allah yuwafak. Our next dialogue, as well if you're going to somewhere, you could just start by the name of the area. So here it says, Asalhiyya, Asalhiyya, are you going to Salhiyya area? Asalhiyya, tfaddali madam, min tariq al-jisr aw al-madin al-adeema. لا, min tariq al-jisr, la anno sma'at fi hafriyyat, بالمدينة القديمة مثل العادة وأنا مستعجلة ماشي ولا يهمك ماشي ولا يهمك 
Now let's have a look at in a greater detail. Asal hiya, great. Now if you want to go to somewhere in the Middle East and you intend to use uh, the public transport or the taxis, all you need to do is just to approach them by saying the name of the place, preceded by a. So asal hiya, the overall translation means, are you going to asal hiya? Or for example, if you see somebody say a Berlin, are you going to Berlin? Ah, Mr. Dam, are you going to Mr. Dam? Or oh, ah, New York, are you going to New York? Or oh, ah, London, are you going to London? Let's say, for example, hypothetically. So that would work similarly in the Middle East. You just need to approach the taxi driver and just say your destination. And he either would say yes, tfaddali, or tfaddalu, or tfaddal, or would say la. Tfaddali, madam, coming in, madam. Man tariq jisr, via the bridge road. Oh, El Madin al or the old city. So here is giving you the option to choose just in case if you ended up in a traffic and you start to say, why did you take this? So you could take half of the blame. She says, La, Muntari al Jasr, Muntari al Jasr, take me via the bridge road. Bridge road, Tari al Jasr, La, Men Tari al Jasr. La Anno Smaat, because I heard. La Anno, because Smaat, I heard. Fi hafriyat. Hafriyat is roadworks. Fi hafriyat. There are roadworks. Hafriyat. Bil Madin al Adime in the old city. Middle al Ade. Mittel al Ade. Mittel al Ade as usual. O ana mistajle. I'm in a hurry. Ana mistajle. Mistajle is an adjective and here it's used uh, by a feminine. If you want to use it for a group of people, you would say mistajlin. We are in a hurry. Mistajlin. And if masculine using, you just delete the feminine case because here it's used as an adjective. So you would say, Ana mistajl, Ibrahim talking. Ana mistajl, I'm in a hurry. He says, Mashi walayhim meg. Of course, no worries. Of course, no worries. So mashi means okay, walayhim meg, no worries. Okay, our next dialogue. Al mazzal samahat. Tfaddal. ممكن توقف حد محل الزهور اللي اشتري بقى زهور اكيد تكرم عينك الله يكرمك وقف هون ايوة عندك هون منيح ايوة عندك هون منيح مع السلامة let's have a look at greater details على المزي لو سمحت are you going to مزي please so similar to the previous one على المزي to مزي please على المزي لو سمحت تفضل كمان ان ممكن نتوقف حد محل الزهور لأشتري باقة زهور ممكن نتوقف can we stop ممكن نتوقف can we stop حد next beside محل الزهور next to the florist لأشتري to buy باقة زهور some flowers باقة is a bunch and زهور is flowers أكيد تكرم عينك of course you're very welcome أكيد تكرم عينك he says, Allah yikramak. So if somebody says, Tikram aynak, you would reply to him, Allah yikramak. Allah yikramak. He says, What if hon? Shall I stop here? What if hon? He replies, Ayuwa. Ayuwa. Yes. Andak honim nih. There or over there is very good. Ma salame. Sabah al khir fadi. تفضل عندي مشوارين أول شي بدي روح على البيت وبعدين بدي أخذ شنطة ومن البيت وبدي روح على المطار أكيد تكرم عينك الله يكرمك تكرم عيونك شكرا كتير مع السلامة مع السلامة Now let's have a look at in a great detail صباح الخير فاضي Good morning Are you free? صباح الخير فاضي Good morning, are you free? تفضل, come on in عندي مشوارين I've got two journeys So, مشوارين, two journeys عندي مشوارين, I've got two journeys أول شي, first of all بدي روح على البيت أول شي, first of all بدي روح, I want to go على البيت, هم وبعدين, afterwards وبعدين, بدي أخذ شنطة بدي أخذ شنطة I want to take a bag بدي أخذ I want to take شنطة as bag من البيت from home وبدي روح على المطار 
وبدي روح على المطار وبدي روح على المطار and I want to go to the airport أكيد تكرم عينك أكيد تكرم عينك Of course, you're welcome الله يكرمك That would be the response for that تكرم عيونك You're very welcome شكرا كتير Thank you very much مع السلامة Goodbye So as we see here guys We've got lots of these phrases Or those are untranslatable But these are culturally used most of the time So don't be shocked or surprised When you say تكرم عيونك And they say Allah يكرمك And then he would reply with another phrase By saying you know, تكرم عيونك This is uh, widely used in dialect especially uh, So I definitely recommend That you write these down in your scrapbook And try to use them whenever possible With family, friends And hopefully when the time permits Then you will be able to use it In your next visit to the Middle East Great And with that I'll enter this at all Thank you all very much for watching Hope you enjoyed it, found it helpful Till next time, stay safe Ma salame. <laughs>